This conference will now be recorded. Let's talk about different different transaction related reports that we have in SAP FICO for your GL related documents. Let's write. GL account reports. When we talk about GL account reports, we are talking about the GL account reports for the entries that are already created in the system. So you will classify this GL account reports into two parts. First one is your line item reports. Second one is your balance reports. Line item report, balance report, and third one you are going to talk about financial statements. What are your line item reports of GL? What are the balance reports of GL? What are the financial statements of a GL? If you talk about line item report, line, line item means detailed debit and a detailed credit of a particular transaction. If you take a particular GL account and if you want to know how many debits are posted to this GL account and how many credits are posted to this GL account, you will have to refer the line item reports. And on the other side, if you are talking about balance reports, this balance report will only tell you the closing balance of a particular account for a particular period. Let's say on a monthly basis, you want to know in this particular month for a particular account, what is the total debit amount that is posted? What is the total credit amount that is posted? What is the balance amount for this particular month? That is what you are going to know from your balance balance reports. And when it comes to your financial statements, these are all related to your trial balance PNL balance sheet. These reports are executed, prepared on a monthly basis for the financial review or financial performance analysis. Let's list out what are the different transactions that we have under line item reports. If you wanted to understand what are these line item reports, option number one, you can remember the transaction codes. Option number two, always recommended to go to SAP Easy Access, open accounting. From here, financial accounting. Here we are talking about GL reports. Go to general ledger module. From this, reporting reporting is all about your information system in the information system go to general ledger reports from this open line item reports from this line item reports if you see you are able to see these two reports but these are not actual reports that we are going to use on a real time basis this is your fhelp03 this is your S underscore. We don't use S underscore ALR reports. Document. Here is again another report. But these are all your ALR reports. S underscore ALR, all your SAP standard reports. These reports you are not going to use. And Chile, these are also we are not going to use. Master data, we will not use this. This also we don't use 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 we use those reports but not those transaction codes not s underscore alr everywhere okay we are not able to find these reports here but let me write down the t codes and i'll give an activity a task for this for line item report, first one is your FA, sorry, FBL3N. Next one is FAGLL03. These are the two reports that we are going to use to check the line item reports of a particular GL account. If I open FBL3N, let me open another screen. <laughs> Sorry, FBL3N. Here, let's put company code as DEIN. 
I need to pass the company code. I need to select whether I want open items which is outstanding as on today or all items which are posted from a specific posting period interval. I'm not giving any range. I'm selecting open item. I'm giving the company code. Let me click on execute. When you go, when you give company code as blank, system is going to consider the GL account contains everything. It is going to pull the data of all the GL accounts in the company code that you have given. Execute. Okay, this is how you are getting the data from your GL line item report. Same thing here also you will find change layout. You need to design a layout in such a way that the for fields that you are able to see on the output is meaningful. Right, if I look at this, if I look at this or let me download this list export spreadsheet. Okay. Let's export. Okay, if you look at this when I got the data in my Excel sheet, I'm getting like this. I'm getting the subtotals like this grouping. I'm getting I don't want these groupings. Okay, I don't want these groupings and I'm getting the totals the subtotals everywhere which I do not want. And that is one point on the Excel sheet. How you want to receive the data you need to accordingly modify your SAP data. Second point here, whatever the fields that you're having are these field field complete to make sure that you are able to understand the data that is downloaded. If I look at this, I do not know from which company code this data is downloaded, which means company code field is missing from this layout. Now I do not know for which account this entry is posted GL account is missing from this. Documented is documented date is available, but posting date is missing posting a key is there But I do not know whether this is a debit or credit Not all the users not every time you will be remembering the posting keys The only intention of assigning a posting key is to classify two things One is nature of account. The other one is type of posting whether it is a debit posting or a credit posting Amount in local currency is available, but amount in transaction currency is not there. Amount in group currency is not there. Similarly, tax code, clearing text, reference is not there, header text is not there. There are certain fields which are missing from the report that you are seeing on your Excel sheet. Like this, you are not supposed to prepare a layout. Make sure you prepare a layout with maximum details which will make your report meaningful. Okay, it is not about your understanding how to get the data from SAP to Excel. That is not your intention. Your intention is supposed to be how you are getting this data from SAP to Excel, which is in a usable format. Even if you forward this to anybody, if you say this is downloaded from my project, anybody should be able to believe this. It has to be like that. Right for now, what I will do, I'll post not I'll post I'll run the report for a particular GL account. Let's say I'll run for capital account. This account two one all zeros. Let me run the report only for capital account. This is two one. Click on execute. When I run the report for capital account, I am getting the account balance and I'm getting the subtotal. You will find the stars here. These stars represent subtotals. Okay, these stars will represent subtotal. If I click on this three star, everything will get collapsed. Now I clicked on three star. Next is two star. Next is one star. Based on the number of level of subtotals you're having, system is going to add one star every time the one star is your transaction breakup okay two star is your account breakup three star is total report breakup okay 
Now from this report, how you are going to design your own layout is something that I want everybody to make your own layout in a proper format. When I say in a proper format, I want you to put the data. I'm not sure if there is any layout which is already created. There is no layout. Okay. I want you to create layout in such a way that you will be able to see the transactions like in this format. Let me say layout. In this layout, put company code, document number, document type, document date, posting date, period, and then fiscal year. Posting key, debit credit indicator, document currency, amount in document currency. Next one is your local currency, amount in local currency. Next one, local currency two. and amount in local currency to profit center cost center reference header text and then your line item text Also put segment segment. Let's put after this. How many fields we have? We have 21 fields. So these are minimum required fields of every GL account report that you are going to look at. I want everybody to create your own layout with these fields and save the layout with your name. Okay, next time when I pull the report, I might use anyone's layout. I want everybody to create your layout as a standard layout, not user specific layout. Standard layout means put all the fields in your layout, save it with a slash at the beginning. Save this with slash at the beginning so that when I run the report, if I go to this select layout, if I choose any layout of anyone's, which will be available in the tomorrow's session. If I click on your layout like this, the format will get changed according to the layout that you have designed. Okay. Now let me run this once again. Once you run the report, if you want to see the transaction of this particular entry, I want to know why this entry is posted. Option number one, I can double click. In some systems, when you double click, it will take you to the transaction like this. In some systems, it will not take. If it is not taking you to inside the transaction, when you double click on a transaction, you need to tick this. You need to select the transaction. You need to click on display document here or change document here. If you want to perform mass change, you want to change header text reference or line item text. You need to select the documents that you want to change and click on this mass change icon here. If you take this mass change, it will allow you to change these particular fields. Okay, this we will see slowly. Now, this is the report that you have to execute to see the GL report. Now, next one, let me open the other screen. There is one more report called FAGLL03. Okay, this is also line item report. Let me put this report. Here also I'm going to run the same report. Okay. 
here also I'm going to run the same report for the same GL account but if I show you the input screen this is your FBL 3N and this is your FHLL 03 All right. On these two reports, you are able to find some differences, right? On the FBL 3N, you have only GL account company code. On the above, you have execute. On the above, you have execute variant dynamic selection. On the other side, for your FHLL 03, you have execute you have variant you have dynamic selection you have data sources but additionally you have choose ledger and interview now when you are posting a transaction in your company code normally creation of leading ledger non leading ledger is mandatory which means any entry that we are posting it will reflect in both the ledgers leading ledger non leading ledger when you pull out the report you have to decide from which ledger you want the data now if I look at this report, if I look at this report which is FBL3N, I know that for my company code DEIN, we have two ledgers. You have leading ledger, you have non-leading ledger. If you want to look at the data, from which ledger this data is coming, how do you know? Whether this data is coming from your leading ledger IFRS accounting principle or non-leading ledger Indian companies accounting principle that you are able to segregate only when you know which ledger you are extracting the data from. This flexibility, this option is not available in your FBL 3N report. This FBL 3N is called as classic GL line item report. Okay, this is classic GL related report. FAGLL03 is called as new GL related report. Your leading ledger, non-leading ledger, parallel currencies, segmental reporting, profit center wise reporting. These are all called as new GL concepts. So when you are working on SAP, strictly it is not recommended to use FBL 3N. Okay. This is not recommended in S4 HANA. This is recommended in S4 HANA. Okay, when you are working on any project, make sure whether you are using ECC or you are using S4 HANA, ensure you are going to look at only this report, not this report. Even if somebody says FBL3N, tell them that SAP does not recommend to use FBL3N in SAP. Because certain transactions are not captured in your FBL 3N report. So one of the example is your depreciation posting and some entries which will get posted in the back end automatically. Entries which are posted from the background are majorly not captured in FBL 3N report. Example is your depreciation posting. If you run the depreciation, if you check the depreciation postings from FBL 3N report, it will not show anything. Nothing will come in FBL 3N because those entries are not stored in your FBL 3N report database. So if you are looking at FBL 3N report in S4 HANA, you may be not seeing a complete data or complete information. So strictly you must use FHGLL03 if you want to use GL line item reports in S4 HANA system or even in ECC system. Make sure you will remember you will use only this transaction not the above one now to show the difference here this is your fbl3 in right side what you have is your fhll03 here you have an option called choose ledger by default system is going to generate report from leading ledger because leading ledger is mandatory to every company code and non-leading ledger is optional. 
if you have the non leading ledger requirement create a one non leading ledger if not do not create any non leading ledger but for you to post any transaction it is must it is mandatory to store the transaction in at least one ledger that at least one minimum ledger is always leading ledger 0l the moment you create your company code leading ledger 0l is automatically assigned to your company code okay leading ledger is not separately assigned to any company code the moment company code is created leading ledger is assigned by default that is why when you are on this screen you are able to see the ledger called 0l let me run this report 21 all zeros on on fagll03 we are getting 8 lakhs here let me run the same report on fbl3n here also you are getting same thing there is no difference but when you go to this when you go to this you are getting an option on the heading gl account line item display gl view on the left hand side it is only gl account line item display okay there is a difference in the heading and if i go back or even if i do not go back on this heading it is giving me this report is from gl account 21 all zeros equity share capital company code deil only two breakups it is giving from where it has got the data for your new gl report it is telling gl account company code plus ledger from where the data is extracted this is telling this data is extracted from leading ledger 0l if i go back now we know that our entry got posted in both the ledgers one leading ledger one non leading ledger for any reason if you want to pull this report for non leading ledger reporting purpose for non leading ledger i may not be requiring 0l i may be requiring non leading ledger which is dl what was our non leading ledger d1 to change your non leading ledger what you need to do on this fhll03 screen click on choose ledger if you click on choose ledger it will give a pop up and when you select the ledger there down below whatever the ledger that you have this will get changed automatically click on choose ledger remove this and give space our ledger let us pick which starts from d okay d1 degr non leading ledger if i select non leading ledger if i click on continue for this time only the data will be extracted from non leading ledger but if i want system to extract non leading ledger data every time i open this report i have to save this if i save this it will become the default ledger for my gl reports but i don't want that i'll click on continue only for this time now if you see down below ledger has been updated from 0l to d1 let's run the report now if you run this report you will get the output showing the same amount 8 lakh this time it is giving the output from non leading ledger which is d1 which we are using for indian companies act okay on the heading you are able to see gl account line item display gl view if i go back once again here you will find one more icon called display view sorry entry view now currently on the heading it is giving you display gl view if i click on entry view if i click on entry view now this and this are same if you click on entry view it will give you the data from fbl 3n report if you click on gl view it will give you the data from fhll 03 screen from fbl 3n you can redirect to fhll03 sorry from fhll03 we can redirect to fbl3n but from fbl3n we cannot redirect to fhll03 if you see the main page here 
there is no option called gl view ledger view here which means by default this is entry view on this screen you have an option gl view entry view currently this is entry view input screen here and here are they same there is no ledger here Right, there is no ledger here. The moment I click on GL view, ledger is coming here. Right, which means ledger wise reporting is possible only from new GL onwards. And for any reason, if you want to apply different different filters on your report, let's say for this particular GL account, for this company code, I want to run the data, but I want to run the filtered data, which means only this select selected criteria to be applied to extracted data in such a scenarios you have to click on this dynamic selection this icon custom selections or dynamic selection click on this dynamic selection custom selection id you have free selection option which will give you different different filters which you can apply before executing the report we normally use the last two icons let me open the last one here I can filter based on the document date any field that you want to use as a filter just you need to double click on it if I want to see the data from a particular fiscal year if I double click I'll get it if I want data only from 2022 if I put 2022 system is going to read the data only from 2022 fiscal year no output will come for 2021 or 2023 fiscal year related transactions because you told system to pull the data only for 2022 year when you are working in a real environment these filters is what you are commonly applying because you may be having huge historical data whenever you run the report it will take huge time because of number of records that are there in the report to have faster report if you know the purpose for what you are executing the report please put these filters wherever applicable okay similarly if you want profit center wise report put a filter for your profit center if you have one two profit centers you can type manually as a range if you have multiple profit centers without the range in that case you will have to put this multiple selection on any screen whatever you are seeing now is common in any report that you look at in sap whether you look at fi report co report mm report st report the fields the way you are updating the data the way you are filtering the data the way you are downloading the data will remain exactly the same okay click on multiple selection here you can feed the data according to your requirement select single values if you want to put data one by one you'll have to put this sometimes what will happen there will be huge data let's say like this so there are 12 records if i can click on Control c here on my excel sheet i copied 12 records or simply i'll put Nineteen records I have kept here. Let me copy all the nineteen records from my Excel sheet. From Excel sheet, if I go to SAP, if I try to paste here, what system is going to do? It will paste data only in the visible fields. If you count, if you count the visible fields, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are only eight visible fields available on the screen. Even if I try to click on paste, I copied 19 records there. I do control V here. System is pasting only eight records. Correct. Huh? If I click on OK, you will see the select value count in brackets eight here. Eight records are pasted, but we copied. We copied 19 records. System is accepting only eight. This does not mean eight, eight, eight. You will copy 100 times. That is not the way. What you need to do if you want to delete everything select any one field come here you will find delete entire selection if I click on delete 
now my intention is to paste all these records in one go copy the data from here which is already copied go to sap here you will find an icon this here you will find an icon this upload from clipboard if you click on this upload from clipboard this will work exactly as control v whatever the data you copied from your excel sheet if you click on this it will perform control v all the records will get copied let me click on upload or shortcut key shift plus f12 click this now you will see 19 records have been pasted here in brackets likewise even if you have 1000 records you will be able to copy 1000 in one go you will be able to paste 1000 in one go if you want to select ranges you can put the range let's say you have different ranges first you want to take 1 to 10 after that from 11 to 15 you want to ignore and then from 16 to 20 what system is going to take it will give you the output for 1 to 10 and 16 to 20 11 to 15 will be ignored because in your range it is not given either you have to go by range or single value or exclude ranges but not all together that is not the way that you have to put filters delete this similarly delete this and after giving the data you'll have to select and click on copy if you want to put a different filter when i say if you want to put a different filter i want to select any condition for that you'll have to click on this define selection option if you click on this okay you will get options like this if you want to use is equal to condition or greater than equal to less than equal to not equal to any condition if you want to put you can use these conditions also okay so we will pull out reports based on all the possible conditions once we have the sufficient data currently we have only one one record close this close this now this is your gl line item report now any filter that you put here in the dynamic selection make sure only in fhgll03 you have to save this okay this filters you have to save this will get stored only for one time once you are out of this screen the filters that you have saved will disappear and the top you will find one active if you see on the top one active which means there is a dynamic selection filter enabled if i try to put second option let's say profit center i'll put dein01 let me save once again now i have kept two filter criteria one for profit center one for fiscal year let me save this now it has become too active which means there are two filters if it shows too active which represents there are two filters if i add third one document number let's say four if i click on save this is giving you three active which means there are three active filters this data the report that you are going to execute is is going to get filtered by three options what are those three options you need to click on this three active and then do it if you want to add additional field here you need to select new field selection it will again display the field whatever you want you have to double click so that you will see the field here update that record click on save go back save this and click on execute if i click on execute there is nothing no items is selected because based on the filter that we are applying there is no record there is no record which meets the filter criteria that you have enabled that is why nothing is coming up here this is how you are going to run the gl line item report first thing that you have to know is how to run the report how to put different filters how to use different options on the report okay first report execution you have to be confident after that you will be focusing on understanding the data which is coming from the report this is all about your gl line item report 
you will be using FHELL03 only. This layout you have to put. Second one, GL balance report. These balance reports you have again two. One is FS10N. The other one is FAGLB03. This is again same thing. One is related to classic GL. The other one is related to new GL. Same point. We are not supposed to use classic GL related report. We are strictly supposed to use new GL related report. Let me select FS 10 and I'll go to the report. Go back. FS 10 and If I go to FS10, there is a message which is appearing at the bottom. What is that message? New general ledger is implemented. Use transaction FAGLB03. System itself is telling you do not use this decode. Please use FAGLB03. Even after that, if you are using this, then it is our mistake. But this is not FA FS10. I put FS10, but what is the T code at the right hand side bottom? FAGLB03 but the T code that I typed in here is FS10N but system is telling FS10N is no more available in S4 HANA please use FAGLB03 we have been automatically redirected to FAGLB03 this is classic GL and we'll put this is not recommended This is not recommended and in fact this is not available also in S4 HANA. Not available in S4 HANA. So let's pull the report from FHELB03. If you go to FHELB03, let's say if I pass the capital account. 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times is 0. Ledger. From which ledger I want to see the balance? Whether from the IFRS ledger or from the Indian Companies Act ledger. Accordingly, you need to select your ledger by clicking on choose ledger. By clicking on this, you can select which ledger you want to bring the data from. Close this. Give your account number company code fiscal year click on execute one more zero i have to put execute this is how we are getting the report on your fhglb03 which is gl account balance report this report you have to understand in this report you have fields like this First one is your balance carry forward. This is nothing but opening balance for the fiscal year. If you are running the report for 2023, this balance carry forward is 2022 December balance. In short, 2022 closing balance, 2023 opening balance. After that, period wise balances. We have posted entries. We have posted entries in the month of May, which is current month. You are looking at the report for leading ledger, which is 0L. According to leading ledger 0L, if you see the ledger, which is, which is appearing here on top, ledger 0L. According to ledger 0L, we are using fiscal year variant January to December. Considering January to December, any entry that you post in the month of May will reflect in period number 5. Because according to calendar, May is part of period number 5. In period number 5, you are able to see the data. You have debit, you have credit, you have balance, you have cumulative balance. Debit means total debit transactions posted in May month. If you post, let's say, some 5 entries, 1, one each, 5 into 1, 5. So it will show 5 as debit. If you, show, if you post 3 credits, 1 into 3, it will show 3 credits, 3 here, 
and the balance will become your debit minus credit or debit plus credit in short this is not debit minus credit this is purely debit plus credit because debit always shows a positive number credit always shows a negative number balance is simply total of these two okay so 0 plus negative 8 lakhs it will be negative 8 lakhs this is what it is showing and cumulative balance is nothing but total balance as on may okay total balance as on may is your cumulative balance which means balance right from the beginning until may but this balance is only representing pure may month closing balance this is overall closing balance for the account clear huh? when we have additional entries that time i am going to explain you all this information how the numbers are coming how you have to calculate these numbers to make sure your understanding is correct now this is again a drill down report when i say this is a drill down report from the balance report you will be able to redirect to the line item report if i want to know why my credit is 8 lakhs what entries are posted to make my credit balances 8 lakh all you need to do is you just need to double click on this number just double click on this it will take you to the line item breakup of that amount in short you have been redirected to fagell 03 transaction if you are fine that okay this is the reason my balance is showing as 8 lakh there are three entries you understood then go back now you want to know why my overall balance is 8 lakh if you double click on this it is going to show total debits plus total credits if you double click on cumulative balance it is going to show the complete history of the account clear huh? now here also you can pass the filters i'll go back i'll not give anything account number i'll click on execute if i don't give account number system assumes that it will run the report for all the accounts currently it is not treating that way it is asking us to input at least one account so what i'll do i'll give the range one two all lines one two three four five six seven eight i'll click on execute If I look at this, do you find anything in the balance? Nothing is there, which means there is no balance. It is zero. Cumulative balance is also zero. Why everything is zero? Because you are extracting all the GL accounts. When you extract all the GL accounts for a particular fiscal year, if entries are there only in this fiscal year, there is no opening balance, this has become zero. If you see this in period number 5 there is a debit balance of 8 lakh 10000 there is a credit balance of 8 lakh 10000 so debit 8 lakh credit 8 lakh positive 8 lakh negative 8 lakh become zero now this is the report of multiple accounts when you know the report is of multiple accounts to see the account wise report or account wise closing balance you need to click on this individual account if you click on this individual account it will give you the gl account list from which it has picked up the data select the account for which you want to look at the data let's say i want to see hdfc main bank account balance double click on this this is giving me the balance of 8 lakhs there is a debit balance in this account if you see the balance is 8 lakhs on the debit side you will come to know the sign whether it is debit or credit both on the balance and on the cumulative balance screen this is your positive number which means there is a debit balance if i show you the capital account capital account there is nothing in the debit there is value only in credit but in credit side there is no negative sign but when you look at the balance it has got a negative sign because the balance is always represented either as debit or as credit currently it has got a credit balance that is why it is showing the number with minus a symbol if you want to change the currency you can change currency from here on the top it is currently showing 
document currency if you click on this it will give you a pop-up what is this currency this is your INR and if you want to change the currency this icon is what you have to click change display currency if you click on this if I want to see this account balance in my group currency dollar select dollar click on continue now the total account balance is shifted to INR to dollar now according to your requirement you must know how to play with the report how to understand the report how to change parameters in the report and how to pull out the data from the report right if you look at this if I want to see the breakup I just need to do a double click on this or you will find an option here call sequence if you click on this you will get this if you double click on this you will get the data it is not giving because I have selected the whole row instead I should select only this click on this double click on this it's not going not going okay just double click on this it will go inside clear this is your drill down report go back and this is about your GL balance report make sure when you are working on your company code you are viewing these reports on a daily basis you must be familiar very con confident comfortable with these reports next one you have financial statements from the financial statement you are going to run trial balance which is your this one accounting financial accounting general ledger information system general ledger report account balances general GL account balances this is the T code that we are going to use to pull the trial balance okay this we will tell us trial balance this will say trial balance next one you have PNL you have balance sheet your PNL and balance sheet is extracted from F.01 okay first let's pull this trial balance GL account balance list S underscore PL 0 underscore 86 this is used as trial balance in real time double click on this put your currency currency type 10 represents local currency company code DEIN straight away go to the period for which you want the report leading ledger report year 2023 period 5 to 5 your TB is always extracted for the one year select this object list click on execute this is how you will get the data as we discussed in the last session we are going to do certain customizations certain modifications in this report to fine-tune the number okay account number is showing account number text instead of account number similarly segment also is showing the text we are going to modify this with the help of technical team okay when we are talking about functional specifications that time this report we will take one of the examples and we will do it even in real time this report will work like this only we are going to modify this with the help of ABAP make sure you are able to pull this report and create your own layout create your own layout according to your understanding how you want to look at the report to get the complete picture in one, one shot it should not be that I'll scroll left, I'll scroll right, right, I'll think what is what. That should not be the situation. By looking at the report, you have to understand, okay, this is the situation. 
for that to happen you need to make a proper layout which will represent the accurate data or the relevant fields in a sequential order okay this is your trial balance next one is your pnl balance sheet which is always extracted from standard transaction f.01 if you go to f.01 this is your financial statement here you will be verifying your pnl balance sheet but this trial balance is sap standard directly you can use the trial balance but when it comes to your pnl and balance sheet system will not know what is your pnl structure system will not know what is your balance sheet structure how you want to represent pnl accounts how you want to represent balance sheet account which one to be shown under expense income asset liability sap is not aware so by default it will not give the data but still let us try what is going to happen company code is your dein next one is financial statement version which is mandatory this financial statement version or fsv we also call it as fsv this FSV will talk about the structure or the mapping of your PNL balance sheet. If you are talking about PNL, what is your PNL format? What is your expense account? What is your income account? In expense, do you have any categories like operating, non-operating expense, depreciation, bank charge? Similarly, on the income, if you have any classification, if yes, what is that? Each classification is classified into what GL accounts? That we have to define. Similarly for the balance sheet. What is your asset? What is your liabilities? Any headings you want in asset liabilities we have to represent Accordingly system is going to give you the output, but as of now, let's open any one financial statement version. Let me go with Standard one which is INT INT is your standard financial statement version people might ask sometimes in your interview what is SAP standard financial statement version? It is INT, which means international financial statement version. Select this. You have to give reporting period. You have to give comparison period. Always remember any financial statement that you are preparing. It is always comparative report. This is accounting standard requirement, not SAP requirement. This is standard accounting requirement. If I'm checking my PNL for 2023, may i have to get the numbers of 2023 april also only then i will be able to take a decision how my business is performing if sales of my business in april is 1 lakh but sales of my business in may is 85000 is there any improvement in my sales no there is no improvement in my sales there is a decline in my sales my sales have come down which means my business profit is coming down I need to analyze all these kind of analysis for every account. For every account, you are going to have the current month balance and also the previous month balance or current year balance, previous year balance so that it will be easy for you to analysis or to compare to take certain strategical decisions. This is a must mandatory reporting requirement in every organization. Even if you are customizing your trial balance, PNL balance sheet, you must ensure you are giving the comparative periods. Now in S4 HANA, all these reports are SAP predefined. When I say SAP predefined, you will find very specific reports, which will work more faster, which will give you more accurate view from the look and feel point of view. The way you see the report on this GUI screen, the way you see the same report on the Fury screen is entirely different. Okay, you can easily do different things with your fury reports because they are not based on a map coding or a map programming okay that i've already informed to the server guy to fix this authorization issues on the fury tiles so that we will be able to run all the reports on fury also so that you'll get the actual feel how these reports are extracted on the fury screen when you are working in a project now I'll give this, I'm selecting the total periods, but instead let me select only from period five to five. Okay, whenever I prepare any PNL balance sheet, I am going to prepare for the month. When preparing for May, I'll be running the report for May only. 
next one in which currency you want the data i want data in local currency i want data from leading ledger in short this is the financial statement from ifrs accounting principle inr currency if you want ifrs accounting principle dollar currency group currency code 30 must be given based on the input that you are giving system is going to give you the output for that we need to understand on what basis we are giving the input here you have to select classic list alv grid alv control as structured these things you'll have to play with first let's run with classic list execute this is how it is giving you total accounts not assigned dein it is telling reporting period comparative period difference total of this is showing as a zero but there is no mapping it is not showing what is asset it is not showing what is liability do we find any classification this is under asset this is under liability this is under expense no you are not even able to see what is profit loss from this this is because our gl account or our chart of account is not configured with financial statement version once we do it our gl accounts will be falling under according to the classifications that we define for this financial statement version is a configuration that you will be doing here if you go to ob58 in ob58 you'll have to define a financial statement version let's say this is your financial statement version once you define this you have to give your chart of account once you give chart of account if you click on financial statement items we are going to define this shortly here you have to do the appropriate mapping according to your chart of account and your PNL balance sheet schedules you have to select your liabilities your assets you have to map your PNL profit loss you have to map your assets and liabilities only then it is going to work out for you to execute or for you to check financial statements in SAP straight away you cannot check PNL balance sheet in SAP unless you configure financial statement version for you to configure financial statement version no other option you must know what is trial balance what is PNL what is balance sheet how it is prepared how profit is getting calculated how this profit is moving on to your balance sheet under liabilities if you know these points manually it is very easy for you to define financial statement version you can complete this within 30 minutes it will not take more than 30 minutes to understand to complete this because you already know lot of things which are dependent to understand this most of the things which are related to this financial statement everybody is already aware maybe few points maybe 10 20 percentage points that you'll have to know we will discuss them and we will configure financial statement version before we complete GL module before we move on to APAR we will be configuring financial statement version we will look at PNL we will look at balance sheet only then we'll step into AP or other modules I'll close this okay this is your financial statement report next one is your ledger comparison ledger comparisons now you know that you have two ledgers you have leading ledger you have non-leading ledger you should also know that when you are posting any document by default your document is updating in all the ledgers leading and non-leading but there are certain requirements wherein you are posting the document only to the leading ledger or only to the non-leading ledger you may have to you may have to pass some adjustments according to ifrs accounting principle this ifrs adjustments you may be passing only in the ifrs ledger which is 0l sometimes you may have to pass the adjustment entries according to indian companies act this according to indian companies act adjustments will be posted only to the non-leading ledger which is d1 when you are posting some entries only to a particular ledger the balance in one ledger may not be agreeing with the other ledger same account number 
but one ledger may show one balance the other ledger might show another balance you have to know at the end of every month whether we have any accounts which are having different balances in two ledgers if yes you need to give a justification you need to give an explanation to the business why there is a difference between two ledger balances for a particular account you may have to tell according to ifrs standard number two whatever this entry has been posted similarly according to indian companies act or according to tax regulatory rule whatever this entry has been posted to file the returns or whatever so this is all taken care by the, your business but you have to understand how the ledger values from the both leading and non-leading are compared to see that your transaction code is gcac this is your ledger balance comparison okay this is your ledger balance comparison let's go to gcac transaction come here put the t code gcac if you put this gcac you will get a screen ledger comparison put here base ledger which ledger you wanted to compare with what ledger let's say i wanted to compare my leading ledger 0l company code dein fiscal year is 2023 for which period you want to compare the data let's say from period number 5 to period number 5 similarly comparison i want to compare my leading with non leading our non leading ledger is d1 put d1 hit enter okay record type 0 if you open record type 0 Zero represents actual transaction. Select zero only, and straight away click on comparison. You want to compare the amount, so click on this, execute. When I click on this and when I click on execute, this is what I am getting. I am getting the company code, account, currency, fiscal year, base ledger amount is eight lakh, comparative ledger is eight lakh. Base ledger is your leading ledger. comparative ledger is your non leading ledger now data in leading data in non leading is having the same value that is why there is no difference at the end of every month we have to ensure this ledger balance comparison is performed okay normally this ledger wise accounting entries to adjust the balances are performed at the year end during the year we may not be performing ledger specific entries but for sure if there are any such entries at the year end these kind of entries will be passed go back now i don't want to see all the accounts i only want to see the accounts where there is a difference with two ledgers in such case you need to tick this display differences only currently we have seen there is no difference all the accounts are having same value if i tick this if i click on execute it is not showing anything because what system is going to do it is going to apply a filter if you put this if you tick this there will be a filter applied on this difference is not equal to 0 if you tick this system will take wherever difference is not 0 only those records will be displayed currently everywhere there is a difference so it is not showing now when you are actually executing this report you are not supposed to execute like this to see where is zero and identify manually no come back you have to tick this and then click on execute if you get anything on the output yes there is some difference in a particular gl account and your business will have to write a justification to the management why there is a difference or why the balance is not equal in both the ledgers they will give a justification to close that come out of this this is another report that you have to use on a daily basis or in short you have to remember these reports next one point number 5 let's put tables for gl account transactions these tables we have already discussed yesterday but let's write once again 
first we put BKPF and then BSEC, Fagel, Flexa and then Fagel Flex T. Next one SC Doka and BS AS and BS IS. These are the common tables that we will be referring on a daily basis when you are in a project which means these tables you must be aware of. To execute or to pull any data from any table first you need to open the table to see the table T code is SE16N. Right? Slash N. SE 16N, SE 16N. Put this first one is BKPF. Put BKPF. BKPF is your accounting document header. Copy this table name. Put this here. This is your accounting document header. Next one, BSEC. You just need to type the table name here and hit enter. This table information will come here. The table name will reflect here accounting document segment. So let's put line items. Next one, Fagel Flexa. This is general ledger, actual line items. Copy this. Put this next one Fagel Flex T. This is Fagel Flex T compatibility view. Copy this. This is a total stable. Next AC Doka. This is universal journal entry line items. Copy. Paste this here. Next one BSAS. So you're not getting anything here. Next BSIS. BSIS is also not giving anything. BS. AS is also not giving anything. Okay, but if you see BS AS, you are able to see one field called clearing document. Okay, if I go to BS IS, here also you have clearing document, but one table is representing your one table is representing your open items, one table is representing your cleared items. Any idea which is open item, which is cleared item, anyone? Third digit will classify that. Now everybody know the full form of this ADKMS. ADKMS. A is your asset. D is your customer. K is your vendor m is your material s is your gl account now if you see here this is currently bsis at the last digit s represents gl account if i want for vendor i have to replace s with k if i put bsik i am getting something here right now the logic until bsi remains constant for customer vendor gl it is going to get changed only when you change the GL account. Sorry, the last digit which represents the account type. If I put K to D, this will become customers automatically. Okay, now this is secondary index for customer accounts. Let me put A. If I put BSAD, this is your cleared items. Same logic is applicable for, to your, for your GL accounts also. What we are going to do? 
for BS AS. Copy. For BS AS, I'll put this. I'll put this for GL. Similarly, BS IS. If you are not able to find BS IS, you put BS ID. Same text we are going to take by replacing customer with GL. Okay, these are the standard tables which you must use on a day to day work environment in your SAP FICO. And, and we are not called as FICO consultant if you are not aware of these tables, at least these tables, whatever on your screen currently. Whether you know what is there inside the table or not is a secondary, but first point, you must know what is this. If you want to pull out any transactions from the backend, you must know which tables to be referred. And if you know these tables, it will help you a lot in writing your functional specifications customizations, Z reports, Z developments, whatever. Everywhere your involvement is only with respect to tables. Okay, what I am going to do, I am only going to pull this table, extract the data, and then I'll open another table. I'll first go to BKPF. This is your document header. You need to give the table, press enter, whatever you find in the blue color there are certain fields with blue color certain fields with certain fields with black color this blue color is representing the key field blue color always represents key field i'll put company code dein i'll click on execute so this will give you the big list because this is from the table all the fields of your gl posting of a header will be part of this. Now when you are downloading the report, make sure you blindly download the complete dump. It will take huge time. Because of the number of rows, because of the number of lines, records, it is going to take time. Whatever the field that is not relevant, you are not supposed to keep it, which means you need to create a layout here also. For that same, click on this, choose layout, change layout, save layout, manage layout. Same options that you find on every report on every screen in SAP. Same function, same logic, same method. Hide whatever the fields that you do not want. Keep only the relevant fields and then extract the data. First point, I want everybody to give your company code. Just click on execute. Let the data come on the output. We will slowly understand how data is coming, how you have to understand this data, how you have to pull the data according to the requirement. It's not that Every time you take the data, this is the dump. This is called as table dump or complete transaction record. If you're asking somebody, if somebody is asking you to provide some data, you're not going to give the total dump to them. You need to know what information they want for what purpose. Accordingly, you need to apply different filters and pull the data. For that, we have to understand the different, different requirements in which you are extracting the data from table. Only then we will be downloading. Till then, I want everybody to put your company code or any other thing. Just execute, but don't download. This is from your BKPF. Next, from BSEC, you just need to type the table. Hit enter. Fields will get automatically changed. I'll put DEIN company code. Click on execute. Okay, this is how it is giving debit, credit and all. If you go right, you will find all the fields here. Whatever is used, if you see, this is very big one. Huge one. If you see, this will have more than 100 fields here. Okay, by looking at the size of this, this moving icon, you will understand the data. If this is a smaller one, data is huge. If this is bigger one, data is less. Go back. After BKPF, BSEC, we talked about. Let me also put GLT0, but I'll put that later. 
faggle flexor put this faggle flexor here also you put company code DEIN click on execute same data is going to come everywhere but the representation is different but the representation is different if you see yesterday we talked about something BKPF and BKPFF currently this is all BKPF if you open this okay BKPF is accounting document BKPFF is accounting document direct input which means back in postings go back this is from your faggle flexor next from faggle flex t from faggle flex t also if you don't find company code at the beginning just scroll down a little here is your company code i'll put DEIN here. I'll click on execute. This is how you are getting the data in Faggle Flex T table. Okay, you are supposed to play with all these numbers, all these tables when you are in a project. It's not about config, it's all about this information. Go back. Faggle Flex T. Next one is your AC Docker. Click on company code DEIN. Click on execute. I'm only running the data at company code level, not applying any filters. This is how you're getting in AC Docker. Wherever there is an entry posted with cost element, you will find something like this coin. Do you find coin here? Wherever you find coin as a business transaction, which represents this is a cost element. This is a CO document, FI plus a CO document. So this is all the information that you have from AC Docker table. This will have almost every information from a document that is posted irrespective of the module. If you're talking about accounting document, all the information that is related to one accounting document you will be able to see it from the AC Docker table. Okay, you'll find huge number of fields in this table compiling data from different sources. After AC Docker, you have BSAS, BSAS. Description is not coming. Just pass your company code TEIN. Click on execute. Nothing is coming because we have not done any clearing so far. Next one, BSIS. In BSIS, give your company code and click on execute. You are getting data like this in BSIS. These are all your open items, which means not cleared. In short, these are the tables. Let me also put a table GLT0. Okay. GLT0. This is your classic GL transaction table. one two and three these three are important this is your ecc or let me put here This is your S4 HANA. Sorry, not S4 HANA. This is your EC 
ECC new GL. This is your S4 HANA new GL. This is your ECC classic GL. Okay, people might ask you this question also in your interview. In which table data is getting stored? If you're talking about S4 HANA, be very specific. In S4 HANA, data will get stored in AC DOCA and you will be referring to AC DOCA only. If you're on ECC environment, if you're using if you are using classic GL, data will get stored in GL T0 table. If you are using ECC new GL, data will get stored in Fagel Flexa table. Clear are these three points alone you remember. The remaining tables are standard. Your BSEC, BKPF are standard. This also I'll put same. These are common tables in every system common these two are also common okay whatever is highlighted in yellow you must remember clear it so i want everybody to be able to go to sc 16 n i'll put table here sc 16 n this is the t code make sure you're able to open this t code put this table name pass only your company code click on execute see how data is coming don't try to understand what is coming. I'm going to explain how you need to read, how you need to pass the input, how you have to extract, how you have to understand the data from tables according to different different requirements because it's a one table which will be used for different purposes. So on what purposes, how you are going to use the data, we will understand slowly. But for time being, I want everybody to know at least how to pull the data from table. And what are the tables that we are going to use? What is your new GL, classic GL and S4 HANA related tables? Clear, right? Uh, sir, uh, here uh, I have one doubt. Uh, uh, since I said my client is using ECC server, so do I have any indication to find out whether this uh, client is using classic GL or new GL? If your client is using classic GL, if you go to, if you put Fagel Flexa, if your client is on classic GL, Fagel Flexa will not come. Fagel Flexa will come only if your new GL accounting is activated. For every module, there is something called license. We'll have to purchase the license. Only then that particular component will be activated by the basis team. It's as simple as like you have set up box, you have TV, but certain channels when you play, it will not come. It will ask you to subscribe. Correct. Similarly, in SAP also, when you're using real environment, like in your client, if they want to use a particular module, if they want to use a particular component, they have to pay for that particular module license, yearly license they'll have to pay. Only with that yearly license payment, SAP will activate that component. That license will be activated for your company. Otherwise, we will not be able to use it. If that component is activated, you will be able to see the data from Fagel Flexa table. If you are able to see the data from Fagel Flexa, new GL is activated. If not, it is not. Check if you have leading non-leading ledgers. Okay. Uh, yeah, sir. In my case, uh, as I said, that flagel flexa is uh, displaying, but uh, here the client are using only leading ledger, and uh, they have. No, it is not mandatory to use non-leading ledger if you are using new GL. It is only dependent on your requirement. There is no rule that if you are using non-leading, if you are using new GL, you have to create a non-leading ledger. There is no rule as such. But normally, most of the companies will use it because they all deal with globally. Uh, sir, uh, again, uh, yeah, as you said, FEG double L03, uh, then uh, use than fpl 3 n but here uh, when i observe all the end users uh, in my uh, client location they are using fpl 3 n so okay, are you uh, using ecc or s4 hana 
ECC sir. In ECC, it doesn't make any difference. The difference will come only in S4 HANA. In my project also, they are using the old one, but we are using S4 HANA server only. Ask them to run the depreciation GL account or you use depreciation GL account in both T codes, not this, this. In both the reports, run the depreciation GL account. In this, you will get zero balance. In this, get you will get in this, you will get the balance. Probably in the evening session, I'll show you depreciation GL account for one of the company codes in both the reports. Sir, uh, here uh, another uh, in balance sheet report, you said uh, this is a drill down uh, report now, sir. Is there any indication uh, we have that is the report visible is drilled down or uh, non drill down like that? No. If you click, if you do a double click, if you are redirected to the next level, that is drill down. If that function is enabled, we will be able to drill down to the next level. If it is not enabled, we will not be able to move forward. So you'll come to know by double clicking on that. Okay. Clear. Clear. Yeah. Okay. All right then. So remaining questions I'll take in the evening. I'll have to leave to office. Okay. All right then. We'll connect at 9 p.m. again. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Okay then. Bye. <laughs>